The ballistic terms, time lag and trail, cannot be simply represented mathematically. They are built up in NBS by a complex network of resistors, sections of which may be switched in or out by a bank of switches. The setting of each of these switches is determined by one frame of a film on which is stored information on the ballistics of the bomb. Each type of bomb has its own film. Each frame of the film is divided into a pattern of 36 squares arranged in four columns along the film and nine rows across. Each column corresponds to one of a series of height zones. This one, for example, covers from 30,000 to 40,000 feet. All but one of the rows correspond to a series of airspeed zones. This covers 350 to 400 knots. Thus, on each frame, there is one particular square corresponding to the aircraft's airspeed and height. The ninth row contains some ballistic information which does not vary with height and airspeed. The information on the film is read off by a photoelectric cell in this film reading mechanism. This is the film cassette. Here is the optical path. The light from the exciter lamp is directed onto the appropriate row of squares by means of a shutter acting across the film. The column is selected by a mirror which scans along the film in synchronism with it. The position of the shutter is determined by that of a shaft in the airspeed servo system. The phasing of the film relative to the mirror, which is determined by the height servo shaft, causes the selection of the appropriate height column. For any set of flight conditions, the light through one particular space out of 36 on each frame is passed to the photocell and whether the space is transparent or opaque determines whether a certain switch in the ballistic circuits is closed or open. Each frame of the film sets one switch.